Etta would be the first into the nursery when there was a baby crying. They become lonely and Etta was right there trying to like mother them. Maybe she remembers when she was in there and now she's giving back to these little babies that she knows are sick. She's helping these babies to get to a point where she is now. We got a new baby. She really is, is looking a little rough. Uh, her back feet are completely black. Her front paw is also turning black. We're on the way to the ER to see what's going on. I, I predict that she's probably septic, but uh, she's a fighter. I mean, we're not gonna give up on her. She had a no back feet, had an infection. It causes the limbs on the extremities, lack of blood circulation. The doctors didn't think that she was gonna make it through the night. She showed us right away she was gonna put it into high gear. We were not gonna give up on her. It's been a rough couple nights with Etta. She's not doing too good. She's doing a lot of crying and we're giving her time, but it's been a, a couple days of no sleep and it's been rough on both of us. After a couple days of moving around more, You guys, Etta is doing so much better. She's trying to walk around. Those back feet are not bothering her at all. We're wrapping them. And uh, she's trying to act like a normal little puppy right now. She never really knew what it was like to walk with feet. And as long as they were padded, she was taking steps just like a normal puppy. She was still wobbly, you know, and she would roll sometimes or trip. She took her tumbles, but then would get right back up and continue on. She was able to go out the doggy door for a little while, but then months later, she could no longer fit through the doggy door that we had. She was too tall. Today is the day Etta gets her prosthetics. Uh, she's huge. She is growing quicker than we can even blink. Today, I think she's going to have no issues and running around like a maniac. We were fostering Etta and we were waiting for this special family to come along. So for all of our babies, we try to <laughs> find homes for them and um, adopt them out so that we don't have to keep all of them. Etta has grown very attached to us and we cannot let her go. We have decided to adopt her. Hi, Etta. Hi, Etta. Her, <laughs> her world and our world just, they match. When we ended up adopting her, she basically took over our bottle brigade as like our bottle brigade mama. Since Etta has joined our family full time, she has wanted nothing else to do with anything other than this nursery. When she hears the babies crying, she's coming right now, she's coming around. Oh, she heard, she's coming back into the nursery. As you guys can see, uh, she's very interested. I put a gate up so she would stop coming in. <laughs> Are you waiting to see the babies? When you take special needs puppies, they don't really know how to function as a puppy without the help of their mom. She comes in and she's helpful in giving these babies motivation to keep living. You know, it's like she wants to be a mom to them. She makes her pit stops by those incubators all the time just to check on them or just like see who's crying. They can actually snuggle up against Etta. Even just a scent from a dog helps them to know that they're not alone. When she was a baby, we had other babies in the nursery. All she knew was hearing little babies crying and, you know, us helping little, little babies. And so maybe it's her way of giving back. 